Hi. Uh, hey, everyone. Uh, I'm Yasif. I'm a master's student at MIT, and uh, I lead engineering for High from the other side. Um, so, slides. There we go. Um, right. So, uh, what is High from the other side? Well, uh, before I get started, I had a quick question for all of you. So, after the last election, if your you know social media feeds are anything like mine that were full of a lot of you know, liberal people who were very upset with the outcome of the election and also complaining about how we're all in a bubble, we, you know, we don't know what the other side is like, we never saw this coming. Uh, and after seeing all of this, I'm curious, how many people out there actually went and found someone who voted for Trump and had discussion with them on, trying to understand why they did that? Amazing, this is great, it's most people in here. Um, and so the problem we're trying to solve is that, well, the people in this room went and did that, there's a lot of people out there who didn't. Um, so Hive on the other side is a, uh oh, <laughs> yes, great. Uh, Hive on the other side is a uh, matching platform uh, that a friend and I built uh, to basically take people from opposite sides of the political spectrum and join them for one-on-one -on -one conversations, ideally in, in person, with the purpose of trying to understand each other. Um, so the way we do that, uh, so, so first of all, like, I know what you're all thinking. Like, I've been on the internet before. You're matching people randomly. Like, isn't this going to turn into a big shouting match? Uh, and the answer is, like, surprisingly not. We actually haven't had a single negative report of an experience on the platform yet. And there's a few things we do to ensure that. So the first is just asking people to promise to be a nice person. Works surprisingly well. Uh, the second is, is really cool. So we had this realization that, um, if you can get people to form a bond based on kind of dreams and aspirations from their childhood uh, before things were kind of politicized, it's much easier for them to then form a connection that they can use to bridge gaps and find commonality and learn to understand each other. So we asked them this question, what did you want to do when you grew up? What did you want to be when you grew up? Um, and we take the results of this and we do this crazy algorithmic matching process where we basically build a computer representation of the answer they gave and find the person on the platform who voted oppositely to them but has the most similar answer. And we paired that with a conversation guide that we worked with facilitators and professors from across the country to build to really help people learn how to have a conversation where they uh, learn from each other as opposed to just disagree. And we also worked with Starbucks. Uh, to give people free coffee and some incentive to take their meetings face-to-face uh, -face in real life. So how did this work? It actually worked pretty well. We had awesome support from all sides of the political spectrum. Uh, we've had matches in every state, thousands of matches on the platform, amazing conversations happening, um, and uh, even some awesome press. Uh, Greg Gutfield from Fox News said that civilization may indeed depend on the conversations being had on our platform. Um, so that was amazing. Um, and so I'd like to share a few stories. Of, uh, of what kind of uh, the cool stuff that's happened on our platform. Um, so the first story is about Rod. Uh, Rod is a high school teacher in, in Michigan. And um, when he found our platform, he was so compelled by what we were doing that he went and recreated High From the Other Side in his classroom. He took all of his students and he matched them up. And they got to spend the entire day talking to each other about uh, the, their differences and their difference in political views and their backgrounds, um, just to try to learn from each other. And we think this was an awesome example of how we can integrate a system like this into our education system and teach young people how to have civil dialogue. Second story I want to tell is about Anthony. So Anthony is a Re Republican retiree um, in Arizona who signed up on our site. We matched him with Tiffany, a young Democratic liberal in Mexico, and the match was so awesome that he asked, came back a week later and asked us for another match. So we matched him with Sarah in New York, and that went so well that he asked us for another one. Finally, we ended up matching up Marvin, and it turns out third time is the charm, because Marvin is a fellow retiree, but a Democratic retiree in Massachusetts. And these two got along so well, we got an email from one of them last week telling us they still talk every two weeks. This is amazing, right? This is a perfect example of how two people who previously had nothing, thought they had nothing in common and never would have met became close friends that they now stay in touch on our platform. And the last story I'd like to talk to you about is probably my favorite. Um, so this is the story of Rebecca and Brooke. Rebecca and Brooke are two women in Northern California. And uh, they signed up on our platform, initially kind of hesitant to meet each other, but they had a phone call, got along so well, they ended up inviting each other to their homes to eat a meal and, and share thoughts. 
And that meal went so well that they started a local meetup group where they brought 20 of their friends together from all parts of the political spectrum to just talk about their different beliefs. This went so well, they've done the meetup three times and they're now planning on co-founding a speaker series together. So like, th this is, I think this is like a perfect example of how we can bring people together, start online, but really have grassroots efforts um, that manifest themselves in the real world. Um, and so that's about it. Um, we've had an awesome time proving this country can come together and be unified and learn from each other, and we look forward to doing that more. Thank you.